Make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. I was thinking to myself, I don't think I've ever looked more like a YouTuber than I, I have right now, a fishing YouTuber that is. I've got my samurai socks on, my Guggen performance gear, GoPro with a mic, a jug of water, and my cell phone. Uh, the only thing I'm missing is the stupid Apple Pro Visions on my freaking face. Rackley could not have picked a more fishy day. This is nuts, dude. I feel like a silverback gorilla is gonna come marching out of these uh, these woodlands down yonder. I'm excited. I'm joining forces with my good friend Rackley, aka Rack Attack 86, LFG, and we're gonna see if we can do what we always do. That is, go find some bass. Every time we get together, it's nothing fancy. We hop in the boat, we jump on the water, and we try to catch some fish and teach you guys a little bit of what we know about springtime fishing. Cheers and enjoy. This is some wild weather. Absolutely wild weather. There's fish down there, per usual. Little squawkies. Little squeakaloids. Yeah, I think you can get away with a frog today or some sort of top water. Welcome. We're on the water. I've made my first few casts. I've kind of gotten a gauge this like I've never really fished here before I have been here once but it was for a completely separate video we really weren't out here actually trying to make a day of it and catch a, a big sack of largemouth it's a unique lake it's kind of unlike most lakes back home that being DFW area because it's full of grass it's fairly clean and the surrounding bank is covered in what you see here this bulrush cattails and this time of year bass will get up in there and spawn. I think today's one of those days where I generally think we can catch them on a, a little bit of everything. Not saying it's you know gonna be easy, but this is the time of year where you can catch them off the bank a bit. You could also hug tight towards the shoreline and throw a bladed jig or flip a bandito bug and get dunked by a begging. So I think our goal for today is, Rackley and I are just gonna see if we can get our best 30. You know, like, or, sorry, best 30, foreshadowing. Best 30 fish. Yeah, 200 pounds, six ounces. I think we're gonna see if uh, we can get our best uh, five fish today and, and go from there. The goal is to catch big fish, of course, but ultimately just have some memories. There's one. There we go. It's hooked up. It is, is it. it is a bass. That is it. On the old rip bite. First fish of the day. First fish of the day. Rack and I are gonna do a little competition later on his channel if you guys wanna check that out. I'll leave a link down below. But uh, for now, we're just trying to see if we can pattern these bass. I'm on pre-spawn deal. I want a big pre-spawn female. The water's warm. There's probably a couple big ones up shallow. And we are definitely gonna poke around shallow, no doubt. But I'm looking for those fish just off the bank. Unfortunately, this is not one of them. But it is a nice little buckaroonie. Pretty fish. This water is full of grass and healthy vegetation, and it shows on this fish's colors. Thank you. That made the three-hour drive. Worth it. Just a little bite like that. Just need a little bite sometimes. There we go. Good. Yeah. yeah. Decent. No, just kidding. Think small. Second fish of the day. Y'all at home, we're just gonna put this one back, wait for a bigger one. This fish is nice, but it ain't nice enough. Sorry, bud, you need to grow like seven extra pounds. Bye bye Still love them though, even the dinkies. Oh. That's a, maybe a decent one. No way. Oh, there you go, bud. Oh, better. gosh, look at that worm fly. A little bit better. All right, this is a little bit better one. This is a little bit better one. Nice two pounder. Nice two pounder. Come here, bud. Oh, oh, oh. Love it. Love it. What were you catching those fish on, John? I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell the folks we were kind catching them. Kind of a secret on. little deal. A little here. sneaky, sneaky. Over at Guggen, we've been cooking up a lot of different things. Some apparel, obviously the new boots that dropped this year. Fish fry. Fish fry, but the one thing that always gets me pumped that we like to cook up is some new baits, and that's exactly what I just caught this fish on. This is the time of year where you could be facing and casting towards the bank, out to your right, straight down the middle. Just doesn't matter. These fish are kind of all over the place right now, and while Rackley is 
trying to get that shallow bite going. I'm just searching out deep, see if I can find some fish that are either spawning or bedding deep or staging deep or are still in that pre-spawn mode. I'm gonna get this guy back and show you guys how we caught this fish. I think this technique is to come into play. See you later, buddy. He's gonna jump. I just love when they do that. Anyway, this technique that I'm throwing is really cool. It works really well with this bait that we will be releasing, I believe, April of this year. It's right here. I don't even know if I can talk about this, but we're gonna do it anyway. This right here's the pinner worm. And this color is a special color. Most of you guys are probably used to throwing like, you know, watermelon red flake, green pumpkin, blue baby, the colors that are the staples of bass fishing. This color right here is one of my favorites for not only largemouth, but for smallmouth too. This time of year when the fish get very aggravated and, uh, and, and riled up and they start kind of dusting the frost off their gills, um, they become very aggressive. And one really awesome way to get them when they're in kind of that weird mood, like that negative mood and not wanting to eat is to throw something like this. So we're throwing this little new worm by Guggen Baits, the pinner worm, and we're taking a little lead nail weight and I'm just shoving it right in the head of that worm. So we have a bit of weight on the tail end. And we're taking a little Guggen Wacky hook, not the weedless, just the regular one. We're just Nico rigging this like so. One of my first uh, videos I filmed on YouTube was how to Nico rig. It's such an effective way to finesse fish in deeper water. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get these fish that are in like that six to 10 foot range. Uh, I still think that there's probably a lot of big fish that haven't moved up yet. It's not like the water's in the 70s. It's still in the low 60s. So I'm using oh. this to kind of, oh, oh, no! oh, gosh. Do you want giant, dude? Giant? How big? Full 12 inches. <laughs> Just pissed me off. I didn't catch any. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of fish right now. I mean, we're surrounded by them. And, you know, while this technique has been working for me the past two minutes, I'll probably switch to something else here in a little bit. I just want to show you guys this unique rig. And uh, don't, uh, don't bash the color. These bright colors, like the yellows, the purples, the pinks, work really good. Even in clear water, like we're fishing like a lake right now that's got six foot visibility. But just look at that. I mean, wouldn't that just piss you off? You just want to eat it too. Oof. Let's see if we can get another one. On. Go, baby. On. Go. Oh. Go. I'm losing every one of them. Dang go. <laughs> there we go. That's a good one. Look at that chunk. Nice fish, man. Did you get a weight on it? Yeah, seven foot. Hell yeah, dude. It bounced like seven foot. That's like a perfect fish too, man. That's awesome, man. That is awesome. Pre-spawn, chunky. Yeah, of course, brother. Thanks, man. Thank you. <sighs> Goodbye. That's freaking awesome. Awesome. Hey, it's nice to meet. What was your name? Ryan. Ryan. Nice Ryan. to meet you, man. Go get Wack another. Get another you wacky one. worm that one. Yeah. That's what we're that's, 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 that's what we just put on. Hey, man. Good luck. Hopefully we get a bigger one too. Keep stacking them. Not bad. Ate right at my footsies. Oh. John, you're crushing it on that little pink worm. Man. I wouldn't say crushing, but I'm doing all right. Don't worry, I got something for you. The old pinky is doing good. Rackley and I are about to engage in a challenge on his channel. Let's see if we can uh, get a little competitive. I don't think we've ever really done a competition, have we? No, not no. I. Take a gander at that little one pounder on the new pink Guggen worm. The pinner, the pink pinner. 5.5 inch. See you, buddy. Oh, I've wanted a worm like this in the Guggen arsenal for freaking years. Something that we can shake yet fish, something that's a little bit different than the uh, Dragon Drop. The Dragon Drop's great, but it's one of those worms that is very much designed towards drop shot fishing, whereas the pinner, what you see before me, it's a Nico rig, it's a weightless wacky worm, it's a drop shot worm, it's a shaky head worm. You could throw it on a net. Today we're getting crazy with it, we're throwing it right above grass and we're choosing colors that are very obnoxious because this time of year you really want to draw the fish's attention, you want to bother them. They're already worked up from being out in the depths all winter long and they've pushed up shallow and they're trying to spawn and you put that little sucker in front of his face and you just kind of wriggle it, they really can't resist. It's fun fishing too on the spinning action. That was a beautiful cast by the way. Got him. Got him, son. Good. Dig a little bit. Here we go. 
No, when you only catch one every hour, you gotta play them out, dude. It is tugging pretty hard, though. It's a nice fish. Oh, it's a nice, oh yeah. Mm. Ah, that fish is beat up. It has been doing some action in the shallows. Look at that. Mm. Love to smell you. Smell you later. Wow, he hammered it. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Really not. No, no, I got him. This little, nice little two pounder. Ooh, ham, I mean, hammered it. He's gone. He's gone. There we go, man. That's a freshie. Freshie just moved up. We uh, finally got some sun and the weather has progressed. I'm in freaking shorts and flip flops in early March. This is unbelievable. And the bass are following suit. They're moving up shallow, getting ready to spawn. We're using uh, actually a new bait by Guggen. I think it's dropping next month. So probably in a couple weeks from when this video is posted. And uh, we're using this worm to effectively get these bass that are kind of pre-spawn slash spawn. Beautiful bass. Nice Central Texas LMB. Just gorgeous. Just look at them. Kiss them, spank them, send them back. Take them. Man, these fish do throw down, I will say. Yeah. That is a one pounder that is doing that right now. That is a one pounder. Ooh. Working the outer edge now, seeing if we can get that big bite. I have confidence. I mean, the longer the sun stays up, <clears throat> the longer that we dedicate our pattern to getting a, a big one, I think we'll stumble upon that right bite. These hooks are ridiculous, too. By the way, if you guys want to check out any of the gear we're using today, it'll be linked down below. Use my code John B or LFG to save 10% off your order. It's springtime, even for you northern guys. Like it is, it is getting really hot. All my buddies up in Maine are saying that uh, winter's over, and it's like early March, which is crazy for the farthest northeastern state. So get stocked up, get you some goodies, GuggenSquad.com. Get some hooks, get some line, some leaders, some rods. Maybe you, maybe your dad accidentally uh, got your rod caught in the garage door this winter. Bummer, shucks. Oh well. Go on GuggenSquad.com, get you a new stick. Get you a little dangle twig. Get to fishing. I love fishing. I love catching. Now that we're catching, I'm happy. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, dude. Oh, oh, you better one. Oh yeah, not terrible. We doubled? We dubbed down. Are we dubbed down? Nope. Mine's aight. Double loggies. Double loggies. Outside. Outside. I was inside. Boat flip. Nice fish, buddy. Thanks, man. Oh, all these fish are just like dang near perfect. The Florida strainers. Mm. They look so healthy. Double log dangling. Gotta Ooh. love it. Cold, cold tag from there. Nice. See you, bud. See you, pal. Good stuff, man. We were having fun out here. Oh, begging. Begging. Oh, God. Begging. That's begging. Begging. I hit him hard. I hit him hard. Oh, it's a bagging. Hey, nice. It's a bagging. You need help? No, I got him, dude. I got him. That's a bagging. <laughs> ah! Pick up the worm. Yeah. I just gotta, I gotta fish what they're eating. Oh! oh! oh dude, this is an actual big one. That's a nice one, about a five pounder. Oh, she's green. She swallowed it. Woo! Let's go, baby. Oh, swallowed the worm. Well, we hit a bit of a lull. You might see a clip of me out in the middle trying to live scope. I hate it so much. You know what we did? We said, screw live scope. Let's just go up shallow and do what we've been doing all day that's been working. And maybe those big ones have moved up at the end of the day. And sure enough, what bam? As Rackley said, what bam? Absolutely choked the freaking pinna worm, the new pinna worm that we're releasing very soon. Hey, man. Pretty sick. Always a good time spending a day out in the water with old Rackley. And what makes it even better is when the fish are biting. We probably caught over 40 fish today. Caught a lot. It's been good. 
biggest one so far and we're not done yet. Our journey doesn't end here. We're actually gonna head a little bit west and do some more fishing. Look at this guy back in the water, get some nice shots of her and uh, see if we can end the day on maybe a bigger one. Maybe they moved up. Some five pound curls. Oh, time to send her back, my favorite part. This fish is essential to the cycle of big bass. This fish will soon reproduce and continue its beautiful genetic, genetics throughout this amazing lake. And uh, maybe one day I'll come back here in five years and I'll catch, uh, catch your offspring. Your offspring's like five pounds. Come on, old girl. Come on, old girl. What you doing? What you doing, old girl? She wants to hang out with us. And she's gone. Whew. Another KO, the old pinner worm. Thing is crushing. Literally, like, it's just such a testament. Like, I know live scope is such a hot topic right now. And by all means, I love it. I like fishing live scope. All my big fish have come off live scope. But sometimes you just get lost in it. It's like, it's like oh, you're chasing these fish around, and maybe they're big fish, but they don't want to eat. It's like, dude, screw that. Put the stupid jig rod. Put, I said, screw that. Put the stupid swimmer rod down. Retied up. Got the little pinner worm out, and we're just flicking up shallow. And it's really like my third cast. So much better than doing that out there. It's visual, it's fun, it's exciting. I love it. Oh, this is not the pink? Oh, sh dude, giant, two giants. Where? Just swam right off. Purple dome. We're on top of the vet right there. Oh, nice. That's her. There you go. That's, That's her. her? That's her daughter. No, I'm just kidding. It's not, it's a little guy. It's a good one, though. It's gonna jazz that other yeah. one. Yeah. We're gonna get salty. Oh, yeah, look at, look at, look, there's the oh, decent yeah, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, one. dude. It's a good one. Look at this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip in there. There's two, look at them, there's yeah, two. I see, I see. Oh, nice, that's cool. They do not like that, oh boy. That's a good one, that's like a five they pounder. They, it's like they don't like the smell of that other one in there. Get out of here, you stink. Throw that glide. Throw the glide? Yeah. Watch, Come on, baby. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Twitch, twitch. Oh, yeah, twitch, it. Twitch, 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 Oh man, this is fun. This is almost like live scope, but times four. <laughs> Whoa! Might be bigger than five, I don't I'm know. I'm about to get my first glide fish ever. This is gonna happen. They're fired up. They did not like the fish that I had caught and I was reeling it in, go past their bed, and they showed themselves. So now we're actually throwing a big glide to see if he can get this bigger one to eat. Oh gosh. See that movement, son? It's on it. Oh! Oh, did he, did he smack that? What just happened there? I don't know. Oh! Did he eat it? Did it, yeah. See the Big line? one? See the line? Yeah, I, I saw that. I don't know which one it was, but got cranked, dude. That's awesome. Got cranked. Get that flat bill out, son. We out here gliding. I, I love how as soon as we find some sight fish, we wind. get wind and, and clouds. Like, you can't make this up. It was beautiful 10 seconds ago. Oh my gosh. Got him. That's nuts. Oh, I just had him. Oh, gosh. Dude, I'm looking at three sight fish back here. There's three back there? Yeah, they're just, this one was on bed with another one. And there's another solo guy. And then there's, you know, a four pounder over here and a three pounder. And they're just, oh. I watched this little morning dawn worm just disappear into its mouth. Just, boop, just be gone. The pinner. The pinner was gone. Just a little one, but really fun where I caught him way back in there. We haven't really fished too much of that. I, I can't see that, which is just awesome, which is so cool. I love that. There he goes. Got him. Got him. Got him. I think it's a good one. Uh, is it? No, I think it's the, a bigger one. It's the male. You sure? Yeah, positive. Positive. Yeah. Look at the female still down follow there. Follow up. Follow up. She's strong. She's with her man. She's standing by her man. I'm gonna keep in the water. Or no? No, we're not, we don't need to get that. We're not doing that. Technical. Oh, she's jerking over at the jig, man. She, she don't like it? She came right to it. Oh, she's on it. She just flipped. She rolled on it. Wow, angry. This is a big, angry one here. Let me put it back. Yeah, you can put it back. There you go. See you, bud. I need a plastic to put on the back of this. You need plastic? I got you, I got you. Set this thing off. No way. Mm -hmm. Instantly. <laughs> You're right, set him off. I mean, thumped it. A mega thump, dude. Felt it? Oh, God. 
shook the rod as soon as it went in there. Oh, she picked it up again. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I tried to let her eat it that time. Let me switch the jig. You take that one. Okay. We'll switch to this one. Old trusty. The old trusty. The old tried and true. All right. Brackley, you get you, you get this footage that Caleb's rolling too. Okay. Perfect. That's a good one. Let me get him. Oh, that's a good one. Ah! Ah! That's her. That's it. <laughs> nice, man. Oh. That was unreal. I did not know what to do in that circumstance. I was like, oh my gosh. I couldn't boat flip it, man. It just got a little, a little heavy. That was so sweet, y'all. So we had t literally two fish here at the end of the day, fired up. John caught the male. I thought they were gonna eat that glidey glide. And just uh, one of my all time favorites for fishing bed fish. When they're cantankerous, the jig. I'm gonna let this fish go. Nice fish, we're gonna let it go right back to its bed. It's always cool to see that behavior interacting. So, you know, some people say when you take the male off the bed, the female won't bite. Sometimes it's the opposite. I don't know, you gotta watch every fish and they're all different, but I'm telling you, I threw that, that jig in there and we had boom, three times. Mid-sentence mid set the hook too. Yeah. God. I just wanna end the day on that. That just, just completes my day. That butters my Gosh, bucket. I love the spawn. I love Texas. Texas, yeah, go! Well, that's, I think he's like, fish, fish in the open, like, oh! Oh, wow, I just had one. And I do have one. Still do. I mean, da, 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 oh, da, da, he almost threw the worm into the boat. Da, 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 doubles. Wowie. <laughs> we had quite a few doubles today. Hey, buddy, cheers. Cheers. I love this. This is fun. I love this so much. Just some brain dead, shallow water, finesse worm fishing. I think that's gonna be my last catch of the day. We're gonna continue this journey on in a different video, but this video is not over because we're actually doing a bit of camping tonight. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a different body of water and uh, I brought my camper with me, which I don't think I've really formally shown you guys. I've had this thing forever. Me too. I'm gonna get the You've not seen it either. Yeah. First tour. We're first gonna tour. stink it up, do a lot of farting, eat a lot of good food, have a couple beverages, and later today kind of want to talk about how we caught the fish. It's fun to do on the boat, but it's also fun to do it with, you know, some food and Maybe some drink, just as if you guys were here joining us on this fishing trip. Make it personal, but it's been fun. Get you guys uh, back on the road, and uh, I think it's a good way to end it. Nice dub ski. first impressions of Chateau de John. This is huge. It's pretty nice. This is huge. This is in your the bed of your truck. The bed of my truck. It's weird. When you're inside of it, it's really weird. Oh, it smells like queso in here. Queso? There's queso? no telling what, what's lingering in here from the last time. Yeah, that's the King Suite up there. Full bath. This turns into a bed. I just use that piece of plywood down and then you put the cushions down and someone can sleep there and then someone can just bunk with me up there. Okay. But they don't matter. It's it's dual sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Brought a blankie and a tepepedic. Feels good to be here. We actually just walked down. We're at we're at the lake that we're gonna be fishing tomorrow, uh, camping right on the water's edge. And, and we went down to the bank and shined a light, did a bit of spotlighting for bass, and we actually saw two that were on beds. Water's very clean. 
Um, it's good to know that they're spawning, means the water's probably warm. But for now, we're gonna have some chips, some salsa, maybe a marg, nice little nightcap marg, and get prepared for another day of fishing out on some new waters. This trip's all about fishing new stuff, so. I feel like we've succeeded in doing this. Is there anything suspicious in there? It smells highly like garlic. Yeah. Garlic in here. That makes sense. Shocker. All right, let's get her all plugged in, plug the boat up, charge everything. That way we're ready to go and uh, hunker down for the night. It's been a long day. I didn't sleep last night and it's already nine. Yep. Freaking a.m. p.m. What time is it? I have no idea. I'm goosed. Oh God. Good one. Here we go. What the hell is oh that? Oh my gosh. What is, is that? Open? What is that?